Hey guys, Bobby here. And today I have a, this is a J. Quebec, Quebec. And this is the Midtech folder. And I have to say guys, uh, this is just an awesome, awesome knife. And I mean, just really, really an awesome knife. Now, uh, this is one of my friend's uh, knives and he's letting me borrow it. And uh, he put in the order for this. Uh, it almost took him a year to get it. Uh, I know Jake had some problems, uh, you know, getting these mid techs out. Uh, he had a lot of machine shop issues, and so uh, the guys that got these, you're pretty much almost getting a custom knife from Jake. You know, instead of a machine by someone else, just put together and sharpened by Jake. I mean, he has put <clears throat> a lot more, I think, time into these than he expected. And you're still getting it for a mid-tech price. But they are going for, uh, so I think they're around like 400, a little over 400. But uh, now, I mean, they're going six, 700 pretty, <laughs> pretty easy and pretty fast. Uh, that's the secondary market for you. But, I mean, just a terrific, terrific knife. I definitely see why it is so, so popular. Uh, so let's take a look. So you do have a, it's about 3.75 inch blade. I mean, just really, uh, very nicely ground. It is uh, very, very sharp. <laughs> you know, a lot of knife makers uh, get a knife that uh, isn't exactly very sharp. But uh, Jake did a really good job on these. You guys can see there's his, uh, his little symbol right there. And just, I mean, look at the, the finish on it is really nice. You know, just a beautiful stone washing. It's definitely going to hide any wear. And just really nice. Uh, the jimping is really good. Uh, very effective. Uh, you know, when I, when I first uh, saw this knife, right? So I'll just lay it down. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, you know, kind of how it kind of has that like comes together like that. Uh, but I have to say, when you get this in hand, it is, it is just like, wow. Uh, I like how that kind of sticks out there. Uh, definitely, you know, I mean, you can use this as a self-defense knife, you know, you got that kind of as a pummel. Uh, and then you still have a 3.75 inch blade. Uh, just knock the stats out, so I think it's about, let's see if we get some focus, uh, six and a half ounces, a little more, I'll throw all the stats in the description. Uh, it does not feel heavy though, I have to say. Uh, see the balance, I mean the balance is right there, uh, I know it's kind of bobbling, but it is about right there in that choil, and uh, anytime a knife is balanced very well, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel very heavy. Uh, flipping action, flipping action is terrific, and I will show you guys. Uh, so it has a uh, hold back roll and detent, and that is that right there. So you know most detents, uh, that is just a stationary ball, and so it just rubs against the blade the whole time. But that actually rolls, and so that is pretty ingenious. <laughs> then on top of that. Um, it's adjustable, you know, uh, adjustable detent. So if you want it harder or softer, uh, you can adjust it the way you want. Now, can you imagine uh, this knife <laughs> with a uh, adjustable detent? You know, that is one thing. You know, a lot of people license that uh, hinder or stabilizer from from Rick Hinder, but uh, if he would do a hold back rolling detent, I think that would be awesome. Uh, and that would eliminate, you know, a lot of complaints. Because I think that's the number one complaint on these knives is, you know, people say they don't flip. And, you know, it's a real soft detent. I mean, if I don't, you guys see, if I don't, uh, you know, flip it, then it's not going to flip. And that's just because the detent is so light. So if that had a whole back rolling detent, that would be awesome. Uh, but we'll take a look at that. So, you guys can see, see it does a little cutout right there. Now that is just a great design also. So, because the, you guys see that, that detent ball, 
just goes right in there. So it makes it so, you know, even though that detent is sticking out some, uh, to close the knife is just super easy because it's kind of ramped. And I think that it's just a great design. Uh, the machining <laughs> is awesome. And there is no machine marks. And you guys see I'm shining the light off of there. And I mean, just no machine marks at all. So just very, very beautiful. You guys see the finish on it. And look at the fit. I mean, just, it's really, really good, you know. I mean, it's what you expect for a very high-end knife. Uh, very beautiful finish. You know, uh, you can pick up, uh, Jake also sells, you get the custom pocket clip and custom pivot. But I have to say, I, I really like this pivot. Uh, especially, you know, if this can be a carry knife. Um, so easy to adjust. And I mean, it's it's the basics, and it's you know uh, sometimes uh, sometimes basic is is beautiful, right? <laughs> I mean, that's the that is the call of the Sabenza, you know, not a lot to it, but it's you know simple and elegant. I have to say, I kind of like you know just the simplicity. It's very nice. Uh, he does a Bible verse. You know, right there. I'm not sure which uh, what Bible verse that is. If you guys know it, just uh, you know, someone put it down there uh, in the just in uh, the comments. Oh, very beautiful, though. Very, very beautiful blade. You see a symbol. Uh, yes, you know, pretty simple. Uh, got some standoffs. You know, I thought as a, I was honestly expecting it to be heavier. Whenever you see it in the pictures and everything, you know, uh, it looks like a very, very um, big, beefy knife. Uh, here's my uh, Les George Talos, which you guys can see. Uh, blade lengthwise, they're exactly the same. You got a little bit extra with this handle. Uh, it's not, <laughs> you know, obviously it's not going to be as big as a, a Grayman Satu. Uh, anytime you think a knife is big, uh, or heavy, <laughs> pick this up. Uh, let's see. Ready to show this Benzo. Uh, here we go. So this is a uh, Fair and Forge Fortis. This is uh, a Fortis B. So it's going to be bigger. But I have to say, just a just a terrific knife. I mean, I really like it. I wish I had got in on the order. You know, I had the opportunity to buy this uh, directly from Jake, and I missed out. <laughs> I would have waited a year, you know, uh, and then if I didn't like it, I mean, you can almost, you know, uh, make 50% of your money, right? <laughs> but, you know, I really like it. Uh, I definitely like, uh, you see, almost looks like anodizing. Really reminds me, kind of, you know, same thing. I think it's from the heat treat but you know just great action terrific knife and just overall I really like it but I just want to give you guys show it to you guys uh, that's it hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye